Hello everybody, this is Mark Kumar, your lifestyle entrepreneur, and today we're gonna have an amazing time with my friend of mine, and I will let her do the introduction of herself, and then we will see where the conversation goes, but I know we're gonna have a great time. So please take your time, introduce yourself, and tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so hey everybody, I'm Zinyella. I'm the CEO of Pod Booking. Um, Pod Booking is a soon to launch social network exclusively for podcasters and those that are interested in collaborating with podcasters. So that's going to be the guests that wish to come on podcast sh podcaster shows as well as advertisers, brands that want to advertise on podcasts um, and producers, cover artists, you know, the list goes on and on and on of the people who are involved in this amazing community that is podcasting. Oh man, that is such a great service. I know a lot of people who are going to be listening to it definitely will be able to find beneficial, especially the podcast. So you have yeah. the right platform, right guy talking to. So tell me, how did you come up with this idea of like, hey, I'm going to open this platform? Um, okay, so it started with a brain blast, which is just like a really awesome thought I had. I was just going to sleep. It was 11.50 p.m. And I was in bed and I was just thinking, you know, reflecting on my day, thinking about going to sleep, thinking about how I wanted to maybe try to get onto some podcasts because I had an, I have an ebook that's coming out in September and I wanted to promote it. And then I was like, man, if only I could just easily find like all of the podcasts that are like in my niche that are like in my size as well, that would be, you know, not too big, but not too small either to kind of get like that perfect demographic for my, for my skills, you know, and for my existing following. And then I was like, man, that should be a place. And then I was like, that should be a place. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That should be a place. So that, that's how you came up with it. All right, cool. So tell me a little bit about your platform. Like how does it work or maybe people who are listening to it so they have a better insight. Yeah, it's going to be kind of like, I don't want to say it's like Facebook, but it's kind of like the the benchmark that I could give for it in terms of if there's going to be like a news feed and there'll be a forum and there will be groups according to like the categories and niches. And there's going to, you know, you'll have your own profile. Um, we're going to allow more customization in the profiles than Facebook does allow now, which I think is going to be great because we're having, we specifically are targeting a community of creators and collaborators and designers and artists. So giving them that freedom to express themselves, I think is going to be really really beneficial okay that sounds very intriguing and interesting and i'm excited about it i can't Thanks. wait to get, get started on it so so tell me a little bit about yourself like as an individual like obviously you are an entrepreneur you create this platform so tell me a little bit about yourself uh, well previously i worked in the beauty industry for a long time i started my own luxury um beauty sales agency called indie beauty house and i also worked with a an awesome brand called latwee's which was like an illuminated tweezer. Um, but during the pandemic, I got transplanted into the software world. And now I work in software. And that's I think that's kind of where the inspiration of like doing something techy and doing a platform and things like that kind of came from. Okay. So yeah. that's a drastic change from going from beauty to software like how yeah. did that transition happen <laughs> well my background is in marketing so i'm a little i'm pretty versatile um okay. and that kind of that helped for sure okay. and i think that's also helping with pod booking too because i'm very much a part of the like growth process of it and the branding and everything else so it's been awesome <laughs> to express <laughs> that more okay so uh in your because you obviously add a lot of value from because you have a marketing background and everything else so is there a marketing tip that you can give for podcasters yeah, who wants to who wants to get their name out there 100 percent. get on other podcasters show <laughs> if what you want is more podcast listeners there is no one more qualified that's a qualified prospect is the listeners on someone else's show okay they already like podcasting. Right. So that's that'd be number one tip, right? So what happens if uh, uh, you are a podcast? Obviously, you can obviously get on somebody else's podcast, right? Is there another tools that you could use or the tips yeah. that you could use besides podcasting? Pinterest has become really popular for podcast. 
people really? are repli- yeah and people are reusing their instagram content and they're getting more engagement on pinterest because the podcasting community in pinterest is pretty small but high in demand for content wow dig deeper on that because i didn't even know that about the pinterest thing <laughs> pro tip <laughs> <laughs> okay so how how, do, how would like, for example, if I'm a podcaster, which I am, and if I wanted to get into Pinterest, what do I do? Just do well, a video, audio, images, what? It's, do content just like you would on Instagram, except you get to use other people's content. Like, you can engage with other people's content as well to form, like, your mood board and things like that, which provides for a lot more collaboration, provides for a lot more, like, elevation of other people's profiles and other people's platforms. And at Podbooking, we are all about elevating others to elevate yourself. So that's kind of the backbone of like the Pinterest model of like, okay, I'll pin this, I'll pin that, and I'll put this here, and then I'll create one whole aesthetic off of other people's things, and then I'll throw in my own things as well. Okay. Wow. So which one? High engagement rate. High engagement rate. (laughs) All right. So which one works better on Pinterest? Because I haven't ventured out there yet. Is it, is it the images first or the videos or the combination of two or what? Um, I would say just a good combination of the two. Diversifying your media is always smart. Gotcha. Yeah. Having, having different, having a moving image over here, a still image over here, have a factoid over here. Uh, all of that always helps. Okay, cool. So tell me a little bit about like what is one thing that in your life right now that you have done that you didn't think you would be able to do it obviously coding 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 i've never i was never able to get into it before because i would try and i didn't know where to start because every time i'd watch a video and it was like oh coding 101 they'd see all these terms and i was like what are you saying i don't know what you're talking about but when i started doing pod booking, I was like, oh, now I have a very clear direction of what I want to learn, how I need to learn it, how I need things to work. And it's made it way easier having direction. Wow. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm literally amazed because <laughs> I, I got into the same way. Like in my first industry was the photography industry. Then okay. stri- straight out of a need that I needed a website, I literally taught myself how to program stuff. So I learned okay. the HTML, J- JavaScript, yes. the whole nine yards. So I can totally relate. Like it's a completely different world. It's like, Absolutely. Wow. And it's hard to get into when you don't have that direction. Because if not, you're just kind of like, okay, well, what's the beginning of coding? Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, so, like, what's the letter A? Like when you're learning how to read, you learn the alphabet. Like where, where's the letter A? <laughs> and then what I found was like when I was talking, when I was in the beginning stage of it, I would talk to somebody and they have this lingo, you need to use this framework or this, that on this plugin. I'm like... I have no idea what you're I talking cannot, about. I cannot explain what I'm doing. <laughs> but I know it's, what I'm doing. <laughs> right. you, you know it enough, to, I guess you could say, you know enough to be dangerous, but you can't explain it to somebody else so, so they can be dangerous. Exactly. <laughs> this danger is exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So uh, how long have you been coding, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, three weeks now. <laughs> so okay. yeah okay. no it's been quite the that, journey it's that, been hours of not sleeping <laughs> wow that's inspiring because Thank like you. in three weeks you have learned wherever you learn and you are start uh have this platform where people can actually go do stuff yes yes and like d- developers have obviously looked at it and everything else and they're like yeah it's a good it's in a good place and i'm like yeah <laughs> <laughs> So, so when can actually go people check it out? Or is it um, so right now? I'm just looking for beta testers. So okay. we've compiled a pretty good list of people who are interested in being betas, but we haven't found like a perfect fit. The amount of like I want fifty testers, but I want fifty testers that are compatible. So define compatible. How do you mean? Uh, it's going to come down to the people that sign up but essentially like i'd like people in similar niches i'd like a nice blend of some people who want to be guests some people who want to be like podcast hosts potentially brands and advertisers so if i can i want to have like a good blend 
Okay. Which is not as simple as you would think. I yes. totally feel like dating sites are just onto something bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. When you start, when you have like an idea and you try to make a brainstorm out of it, and then you're like, oh crap, it's going to take that much work to get it done. And then, you know, I'm sure you have experienced that. And then you're like, is it really worth doing this? 100%. I- <laughs> 100%. <laughs> well, let me ask you this i'm sure you have the very first time when you put up laid everything all your cards on the table and then you realize holy crap i gotta do all this work did did the thought actually come to you like i maybe shouldn't do this ever ever no no really no Wow, okay. No, uh, since the moment I thought of it, I felt like my brain just slipped into the perfect fitting shoe. Does that make sense? Like, you know, when your foot slips into a shoe and it fits perfect and you're like, yes. Yeah. This is comfortable. I, that's how my brain felt. It was just like, yes, this is exactly what I want to do. This you could, utilizes all of our skills. Like, you know, speaking as my brain and I are separate things. <laughs> but, you know, all of the skills that we've adopted. I've been. I was thinking back to... Like one of the first gifts my dad gave me when I was a teenager was my first website. And he, and you know, he was teaching me how to like put ads on it and how to monetize a site and things like that. And that was now coming now in, in my twenties, you know, I'm thinking, Oh man, even that was preparing me for this moment. And I didn't know, but here wow. we are. That that's why wow. I have never heard anyone getting a website for like, a gift, present like a present uh, yeah. or a gift or whatever wow. oh yeah cool that yeah. <laughs> really cool <laughs> that yeah of his time. well because he got it he was like he's a very smart man and he was like yeah okay his websites are really cheap it's pretty much already built right like he, he gave me a it was for tickets like movie tickets so it had all the show times on it uh you just put in your zip code and it would pull up all the show times in the movie theaters around you and stuff Right. I was too young and I didn't pay enough attention to it. I learned a little bit with it and then I just kind of let it go. And he ended up just not like buying the domain again. Uh, but yeah, that was a present I got as a kid and it, and it was laying a foundation and I didn't even realize. And then now I'm looking back and I'm like, wow, that, that was preparing me for something. And I didn't even realize how much I'd gotten from it. Yeah, that, that would make sense because when I asked you earlier, like did, did, when you lay all your cards on, you you felt like ever giving up or like a bad idea. But then again, you started early when your dad gave you this wonderful gift of a website and you're like, oh, I know what I need to do. So I guess yeah. in that sense, you started early. It was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, in that sense, I've been doing it for a lot longer. And another thing was just, you know, doing marketing, working in in the beauty industry, all these different things prepared me in different ways Right. that I just didn't realize what they were preparing me for. It's and like the, uh, what I call is like a, uh, accidental learning. Yeah. You, you didn't yeah. even know, you didn't even know what you were learning, but you were having fun. And then like two days later, like, wow, I knew that stuff. You're like, wait, I'm, I'm actually pretty knowledgeable. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, <Cool>. ex- <laughs> ex- exactly. So so speaking of knowledge, like if someone were to ask you sure. two years ago of what you know now, what two skills that you actually need to run a su- profitable, not successful, but profitable business, what would they be? I would say strong sense of commitment because you're not always, you're not going to monetize from day one. So you have to be really committed to that long-term game. Um, And man, if you're not that committed to sleep, it helps. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Commitment to your job or commitment to your work, but not to your sleep. <laughs> I hundred percent agree. So one of the projects, yeah, I agree because one of the projects when I was doing uh, one long time ago when I was in the web development thing, starting out, I did not sleep for forty one hours because I was so work so like focused and in oh. tune. Oh, done. Yeah, no, the first seventy two hours from the second I thought of it. Like those next 72 hours were a blur. It was just work, 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 doing it, doing it, doing it, blah, 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 and then crash. 
just crash. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. That's what happened. So yeah, definitely. I understand the whole enthusiasm and then you start working and then before you know, you get into this black hole of enthusiasm, the dedication. You forget what time is. You what forget time it is. food, you forget everything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But I think in terms of like skills, like things <laughs> that I would say you should really specialize on is going to be strategic partnerships, collaborations. Okay. Knows, uh, knowing who to work with, who's attracting the same demographic as you, who's talking about the same things as you and how to work together and like spread that message and then content creation. Having good quality content and knowing, knowing how to replicate some content but making it look like it's new, knowing how to reuse some just information and value yeah, go deeper on that content creator because that's a beast on its own. I know a oh, lot of yeah. people, a lot of people have a challenge with that, even though no matter where they are. So what are the, some of the tips for podcasts? As you can say, you can yeah. create content about that. Okay. Uh, look up all the funky holidays, like the weird holidays, like National Pancake Day, National okay. Reader's Day, all of those. Find all of those. Make posts for all of those. You just got yourself like over 100 days worth of content. What kind of post would you create about it? Like, for example, Christmas. No, oh, Merry Christmas. What do you mean? Like, Merry Christmas from pod booking. Like, uh, tag your favorite holiday podcasters or tag or who had the best holiday special. Like, tag their holiday special below. Boom. Killer post. I just made my Christmas post. You guys are going to see that <laughs> Christmas this year. <laughs> Wow, I never even thought about it. No, like, you wouldn't think of it. Because if you and think about it right now, where if you just think about like United States holidays only, but if you think internationally, it's like you got a podcast for two years. Like, but there's just funky ones too. Again, like Dr. Seuss's birthday. That's a national holiday. Right. Dr. Seuss, that's a ton of awesome content. Tons of creative things you could do with him. Right. You know, wow. you just got you just look at you. There's websites you just put in like funky holidays, and they'll pop mm -hmm. up. You'll have a whole list. Holy cow! Wow, yeah. that's that's truly amazing. Like I that's know, I one. yeah, I will definitely use that now because like I did not, I didn't even think about it. You know, that's why I think if you like I say strategic partner, you talking to somebody else who is smarter exactly. than you or may know something, and vice versa, you yeah. change exchange. Like right now, we just learned, create a content about holidays, done. Oh, easy. And it's an easy one to do. I like doing those like kind of earlier in the day, get them out of the way. Right. Start getting some engagement, start getting some people talking to me, and then do something else later in the afternoon, you know? Gotcha. All right, cool. So tell me where can people find out more about you or your platform? I'm at, at podbooking on Instagram, at book pod, booking pod on Twitter, and I'm at danny.san.diego on Instagram. So those are my personal and my business. Feel free to connect on all three, just one. Either way, I'm easy going. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. And people who want to listen to it, they're definitely going to appreciate it. And I wish you Bye. much, much success for your new platform. If there's any, anything I can do to help you out, feel free to let me know. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right.